Hello, today we're going to be teaching you how to download Rigs of Rods 0.4.6. Now, I know this was coming for a long time, and I meant to do this a lot earlier, but I just got really, really busy lately, and I never got around to making this video. So, all the resources you will need are on my Rigs of Rods Tech Help page. That is been confirmed by Safety Liner C2. So it's an actual trusted source. You can download stuff here. It's not a virus. Boy. Okay, now that that's out of the way, uh, first of all, I should mention this is a totally blank virtual machine. Fresh install a Windows 10 that is indeed activated, and this is running Windows 10 Pro. So, first thing that you should do, in my opinion, is to download the dependencies. Now, these can be found on the Direct 3D option here. I would first select the DirectX web installer. This will take you to the Microsoft download page for the DirectX end user runtime web installer. Download it. I uncheck the make the homepage stuff and all that. And it's a pretty small file. It shouldn't take that long. And I always save all my downloads instead of just running them temporary. So you'll get the message for the DirectX installer. Accept the agreement. Do not install the Bing bar because no one needs that. And then it will go ahead and install the DirectX program. Now DirectX is used for Direct3D9, which is a rendering subsystem for the um, Rigs of Rods game, and uh, some computers will have this pre-installed depending on what programs that you're using, but some do not. Now, keeping in mind, some of you will run into a problem like this saying that there is a rendering exception with D3D9, or alternatively, you will not even have the option for Direct3D9 in your Rigs of Rods config. And if that is the case, you will need to download that. So we're going to wait till this installs and then we'll come back. So the next thing is to download the program. So to download the program, just go back to the main page. And you'll see two options for downloading the Rigs of Rods program. There's the actual installer and the zip file. Now, if you don't have administrator rights in your computer and you need to install Rigs of Rods, I'd recommend using the zip file option as all you have to do is extract the files and you'll be good to go. The installer is just a plain old installer that was originally on the Rigs of Rods website. And um, this is the most stable version of Rigs of Rod 0.4.6. In this case, since we have admin rights, we will be able to use the installer file. Now, I am hosting this on Mega.nz because lots of people have problems with Google Drive. And Google Drive is very stupid in the way it downloads files, in my opinion. Now, I know I'm not supposed to give my opinion sometimes, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, once you click on the link that says view, you will be taken to this page here. And all you have to do is click the big red download button. And you will then see it go into a little mini file transfer mode. Now, this is a very small file. It shouldn't take that long to download. But again, as I mentioned before, if you have administrator rights, use the main installer, which is the .exe. Otherwise, 
use the zip file and you should be fine. So once the um, executable has been decrypted, it will allow you to download it. You just click save and then you'll be ready to go. So for some of you, if you have Windows Defender or Google Chrome or whatever, it may detect it as a false virus. If you go to the Action Center, click this message, it will open up Windows Defender and it will say if you have it installed, but otherwise uh, it should download just fine. If you're using Google Chrome, you would simply click on the side menu where the download is and click keep. So anyway, the program is downloaded and we'll just go ahead and run the installer. This will of course ask for administrator permission and um, once you get this, you may get an ad about a uh, Windows smart screen. Just click run and it will start the installer. Uh, depending on how your settings are set in Windows Defender, or if you have an external antivirus uh, on your system, uh, just allow the program through and you should be all right. Now, when we run this, the installer will come up and select English and accept the license agreement. Click Next. Leave the directory as default. I usually choose the full installation. Add a start menu shortcut and create a desktop shortcut. Click install and the program will begin installing. It should not take long, but uh, it will take a few seconds depending on your computer and the installation you already have. Once the program is finished installing, it will attempt to run another program that is needed which is uh, Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. It will try and detect if it's not already installed on your computer, but most likely it will install automatically at this point while it's finishing the installation. Once it is done so, you can click the message to launch Rigs of Rots. Now, initially, when the Rigs of Rods config comes up, it will be blank. You'll have the option for Direct 3D9 rendering system if you did the install like I did before. Uh, what I usually do is do not allow DirectX 90X. Turn full screen off under multi-device memory hint click on Auto Hardware Buffers Management, and then select whatever your uh, max screen rate is. I usually go with, for my monitor, 1920 by 1080 works just fine, and it'll give me a really nice screen resolution. In the graphics, um, I usually select Trilinear for my texture filtering. Sight range, leave as unlimited. Shadow performance optimization leave on, turn off enable particle systems, and the rest you can kind of play with on your own. Leave the screenshot format as JPEG. Under advanced, under light source effects, turn it to only current vehicle main lights because uh, it'll give you a better experience in game because you can still run your lights and not have a problem. Uh, if you have a multiplayer server to connect to, your server host name would go here, the port number would go here, and the password would as well. If you have a user token, you would initially enter that under the gameplay menu. So hit save and exit, and then start the game. Now, this may happen at first where it says the code execution cannot proceed because MS VCR 100 is missing. Click OK and proceed back to my website. 
And at this point, if you go to the link that says, if you're having problems, read this page here, click there, and then you'll see the problem to MS VCR, blah, 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 is missing message. Take note of the DLL that it's missing. In this case, it's MS VCR 100. You're gonna simply go into here, click view, and it will take you right to a Microsoft download page where you can download the Microsoft Visual C++ uh, redistributable. Now, usually all you need to install is the x86 version, but I usually grab both just in case. Do not take the IA64 as that will not apply to any of the processors that you guys have running on your computer. So save both of them. They should be fairly quick downloads. And we're just going to open the x86 version for now. When this opens up, again, smart screen may come up. Just click the run option and click yes. It will extract everything it needs to the current directory and accept the user license agreement and it will begin to install the program. It should go pretty quickly and then you should click finish. Now try to start the game again. It should open up automatically and now we are in the game. So let's just spawn the simple test terrain just to make sure everything loads in correctly. And at this point, we should be good to go. Yes, we are. So that is it on how to install Rigs of Rods. If you have any questions, you can contact me via my Discord server. If you go back to my Rigs of Rods webpage, there is a link right there. If you have any questions or you do come up with problems that I have not put on my website, let me know and I will put that in. And if you explain to me what the problem is or if I'm helping you on a problem and I think it's something I need to add, I will definitely put it on there as I want this to be a nice, easy resource tool for you guys to help yourself in terms of if you have any troubleshooting tips or things that you need to work out when installing the game. Uh, if you have any questions, again, contact me. And thanks for watching. Take care.